Don't do for the job. She does better. Annie will get the rest then. Uh, uh, oh, they won't catch us. Quick, jump in. Oh, I can. Yes, I can. It's good for you. We've got to get out of this house. We can't get out now. The house is surrounded. Well, what do we do? Is it you, darling? No. Oh. I meant, yes, darling. What are you doing, darling? I'm very busy, darling. Don't be long, darling. I want to talk to you. All right, darling. That fooled her. She won't come in now. There's a job you and I can do. Oh, no, you don't. Not while I'm with you. You wait here. I'll get the clock. You're bound to arrest us. If they arrest you, admit nothing. What can they prove they search you? No evidence? What a crook. What the? Where has he gone? Let's have a look in the shed. Maybe in the house. Nothing of it, miss. All in the execution of duty. But I've never seen a front door open like that before. That's a special strawberry paper. What can I do for you? We are making inquiries as to the whereabouts of two persons responsible for wrecking the municipal road sweeper and for the theft of municipal property. Well, it's all very exciting, but what's it got to do with me? We have reasons to believe that said persons, chargeable with the aforesaid breaches of the peace, are... Oh, cut the cackle, Mike. We want them guys, and we want them there. Say, you must be an American. <laughs> Not him. He gets that way spending all his off-duty time at the flicks. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, miss, these birds we're looking for were seen climbing over the wall into your back garden. We've got a hunch they're in your house right now. What sort of birds were they? One was an old guy who wore a funny cap with uh, ear flaps on it. The other looked a mighty ugly customer. Well, there's no one in the house except me and my father. He's halfway up the chimney. He's found a new way to sweep it without using any brushes. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for warning me. So, you've been up to your old tricks again, have you? And this time, the police are after you. I have a good mind to turn you over to me. It'll teach you a lesson. <gasps> Don't turn me over to the police, miss. I didn't mean any harm. Honestly, I didn't. Who are you? I'm an accident. I mean, it was an accident, you see. The other fellow and me, we were running away from the police. I'm beginning to understand. You're the ugly customer. Well, he gets into enough trouble without having someone like you help him into it. Now you get out of here. Don't you dare come back to this house again. Yes, miss. But what if they're outside waiting for me? That's your lookout. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss, that must have got in the way. <laughs> 